There's some breaking news that's now coming in and the North versus South divide that the opposition is trying to wedge in after the results of the four states seem to be only escalating. DMK has now waded in, Member of Parliament of the DMK going on to say that the BJP can only win elections in Gomutra states, referring to states in the Hindi heartland, all of which were swept by the Saffron Party in the four state election results of which came out two days ago. Senthil Kumar of the DMK passed this comment uh, inside the parliament, in fact, and that really has triggered a big political fight. We'll try and get you that reaction, uh, the comment that in fact came to the fore from the Member of Parliament of the DMK who, while referring to the Hindi heartland states, made a comment that has now been objected by the BJP. Pyle, my colleague, uh, getting us more details. Uh, be, uh, Pyle, we've had uh, many within the opposition come out and make this about a North versus South fight and how it is uh, voters in the North India that are voting for the BJP. The DMK now adding its own twist, something that is not going to be taken kindly. Oh, well, this has been a constant between the BJP and the DMK and, you know, you've seen several DMKs object to Hindi imposition by the BJP. But over here, Mr. Sarvish Kumar was generally a very poised person in this comment and creating a controversy of sorts. This coming just after another MP from the same state, Karthi Chidamam had also posted that he's very upset that South was dominant. So this one is just come in at a time, you know, when, of course, the BJP has been able to win three out of the major uh, four elections in the country. And obviously, the Congress party has been left to let's say you know, the DMK and we are taking a snide because the BJP and BJP has got, does not have to put in South after having lost Karnataka. So we have to see how this really pans out, but this is a controversy coming in from the DMK. And like I said, and Mr. Sanjay Kumar is a very, very poised and member of parliament. He probably has made this comment in the heat of the moment and he's not going to take that comment back, but this is exactly what the DMK's politics is. They've been opposed to Hindi and the Hindi art land in particular. Right, Pyle, do stay on with us. Uh, let's actually listen into the comment that came to the fore inside the parliament. People of this country should think that the power of this BJP is only winning elections and mainly in the heartland states of Hindi and what we generally call as the Gomutra states. You cannot come to South India. The DMK member of parliament there was talking about uh, BJP's victory in the heartland states. Remember, all three heartland states that went to post this uh, election, all were swept by the BJP. We've had many within the opposition, several within the Congress party also come out and make this north-south divide. The DMK, of course, is the latest one to wade in. Calling the Hindi heartland states, Gaumutra states is what uh, has been objected to. This is something that uh, the parties in the south have often raised as far as the north-south divide, the imposition of Hindi goes. This perhaps is an extension of that narrative that we've seen in the past as well. How the DMK within how uh, the DMK and uh, the Congress, of course, comes out and reacts to this, we'll have to wait and watch because the Sanatan Dharm remark made by someone within the DMK is what cost them the elections, is what many believe within the Congress party as well. So how do they feel about this comment coming in from an ally is something that we'll wait and watch out for. But listen in to DMK Member of Parliament, Santil Kumar, once again. People of this country should think that the power of this BJP is only winning elections and mainly in the heartland states of Hindi and what we generally call as the Gomutra states. You cannot come to South India. Sandal Kumar of the DMK there uh, on the floor of the house while making a point about BJP's victory. A 3-1 victory in fact that came to the fore. Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh going BJP's way has triggered a massive political fight as far as the North and South and the clear divide as far as the voting pattern is concerned. Rahul Ishwar joining us on this broadcast. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Your first response to the kind of comment that has come to the fore from uh, the DMK Member of Parliament. He says that these are Hindi heartland states, only states uh, which we call Gaumutra states can vote for the BJP, not the South. 
absolutely horrible comments very avoidable especially coming from a member and this is insult to mahatma gandhi the father of the nation who was a goreksher he was a cow protector this is uh, insulting baba saheb ambedkar who put article 48 in indian constitution for the protection of the cows see indian culture and cows have a very symbiotic and synergistic relationship for past many thousand years and it is insulting every hindu sensibility so this is the divisive rhetoric that many from our dmk and the left liberals are doing just like uday me this challenge did for sanadana dharma hindu phobic comments should not be seen as progress just like islamophobia is wrong hindu phobia is also wrong and anything that demeans any religion may be hindu christian muslim sikh jain bauth or any religion should not be encouraged because we are a very pluralistic nation we are a very secular kind of a framework so insulting voters is very wrong insulting hindu sensibilities and indian cultural sensitivities are very wrong i hope they will rethink dmk and our friends in tamil nadu especially from an indian as an indian from south i would request them to rethink on these kind of hardline positions that won't serve any purpose that will only accentuate any kinds of wounds and fault lines we have in our nation absolutely do stay on with me shahzad punawala of the bjp also joining us here on this broadcast uh, shahzad many within the congress believe that uh, udani the stalin sanatan dharm remark is what perhaps caused them this election in the hindi heartland states now we have another dmk member and a member of parliament no less come out and make a comment like this This is इंडी अलायंस की नफरत की दुकान दिस इज अ कैलकुलेटेड स्टेटमेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर एड वॉन्ट अस दिस मॉर्निंग अबाउट द डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी ऑफ दिस अलायंस एंड कांग्रेस इन पर्टिकुलर आफ्टर कांग्रेस अब्यूज द नॉर्थ इंडियन वोटर्स नाउ यू हैव डी एम के लीडर्स एंड दिस नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम यू सी द लिस्ट ऑफ लीडर्स ऑफ डी एम के देव अब्यूज बिहारी देव अब्यूज नॉर्थ इंडियन देव अब्यूज हिंदी टाइम एंड अगेन एंड दिस इज येट अनदर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दैट टूडे आई हैव थ्री क्वेश्चन वन डू लीडर्स लाइक तेजस्वी यादव लालू यादव अखिलेश of arvind kejriwal mamta uh, banerji rahul gandhi who come mostly from north india do they accept the statement if not will they break their alliance with dmk point 2 is this mohabbat ki dukaan is this nafrat ki dukaan because when you are ruling in north india that time it is all fine and now when you are uh, out of power then you start abusing the voters that means you doubt the evms now you doubt the voters and their wisdom and point number 3 this kind of language that is being used is to- totally unacceptable in a democracy they say that hum bharat ko jodna chahte hain this is bharat jodo yatra that they keep doing but they are dividing bharat sometimes along caste lines sometimes along the lines of language and now the lines of north and south i the most despicable statement the congress party and the other leaders of the india alliance must tell us will they break the alliance with dmk for this insult of north indians or not Now, so far we haven't had anybody from the Congress react to this, uh, Shahzad. But uh, if you recollect, Rahul Gandhi, while he was campaigning in Kerala uh, some time back, had also made a similar comment about how voters in Wayanad reacted to his candidacy as opposed to when he was contesting from Amethi. So, uh, would you then think that this perhaps is inherent within many of the allies of the India Alliance? it could very well be because it is not a coincidence that on the days that uh, the congress leaders start attacking and abusing an entire part of this country immediate dmk picks it up and the congress is a past master at this whether it's rahul gandhi abusing amethi and north indian voters after the amethi loss whether it's priyanka vajra laughing with channi on the despicable comment made about north indians so it seems to be a pattern and perhaps congress is hand in glove with it that's why they are not condemned as a poor statement Right, Shahzad, do stay on with me. Kovey Satyan of the AIA DMK also joining us here on this broadcast. Thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Your first response to what this DMK member of Parliament has said? Do you think that uh, he was trying to mean this as uh, how it's colloquially perhaps spoken of as far as Hindi heartland state goes, or is this comment something you condemn as well? Let me make uh, clear for the viewers. Nobody in Tamil Nadu addressed like that. Sandil Kumar MP is imbecile. he can call himself as a literate but he is not educated enough and people couple of them in dmk wants to have the divisive thought they want to sow the thought of divisiveness by calling them our fellow brotherhood from north india as pani puri walas and this they feel that that's going to give them a political mileage and benefit it's played for the vote bank politics and they are masters in divisive politics chennai is sinking and the government is clueless they're not able to protect the people with the recent floods they need a narrative so they can take the attention away from the people and people like sandil kumar who are imbecile they will build a narrative like this 
I seriously don't understand why what that do they get by instigating people with these kinds of thought process. Do you also think comments Probably like this uh, is perhaps what caused uh, the DMK's allies these elections as well? Many believe within the Congress also, in fact, that uh, the comment about Sanatan Dharm that we saw from Udayanidhi Stalin is what hurt the Congress in these heartland states. In a way, it is true because their ally here in Tamil Nadu doesn't stand up to that comment made by the Prince, Mr. Udayanidhi. None of them came out and said what Udayanidhi said is right. The ally distanced themselves. Because they know it is not in the right direction. Hmm. Atheism is there for a quite long period of time in Tamil Nadu. But uh, DMK takes it one level further. They go to any extent. One such example is the comment on Sanatan Dharm by Uday Nidhi. The new kid. Hmm. The prince. He took the name of his grandfather and father. Suddenly come into the public life. Now aspiring to become the deputy chief minister. For them, what matters is appeasement and appeasement through lies. And they go to any extent, they are shameless to tell any lie for that matter. And they believe that that's the right way to take it forward. Hmm. And people of Tamil Nadu are used to this. And they know this is their narrative and this is their nature and this is their culture. This is how DMK is being groomed. Sure. But none of the Tamil people address the people of the North this way. Let me state it very clear. We have utmost regard and respect for them. And our brothers are real hard workers. Not like what the MP said in Parliament. He is a disgrace to Tamil Nadu. In the silent, he is a disgrace. Sure. Kovai Satyan, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. So clearly there is perhaps no elbow room left as far as the DMK as member of parliament is concerned because this is certainly not the way people uh, in the southern states talk about uh, uh, the northern states and that clarification has come to the fore from the AIA DMK as well. What the DMK's response to this is or clarification to this is, we'll have to wait and watch. Also, it'll be interesting to see if the Congress does come out and publicly condemn this comment. This happened on the floor of the parliament. It happened in the Lok Sabha where uh, the DMK a member of parliament made this comment. Let's listen into that comment once again. People of this country should think that the power of this BJP is only winning elections and mainly in the heartland states of Hindi and what we generally call as the Gomutra states. You cannot come to South India. You see all the results of what happens in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra, Telangana. You cannot come to South India, you're only restricted to Gomutra states is what the DMK member of parliament has come out and said. The BJP taking objection to this. The Prime Minister himself had spoken about this kind of divisive politics of the opposition alliance this morning. This is only going to escalate even as we see the results and the aftermath of it settle in. But the political war of words is only escalating. That will be our top focus all through the evening here on CNN News 18.